Welcome back to Flight 95.7 with Chad Dewing, Joe Fortenbaugh, and Lorenzo Neal. It's the Flight 95.7 20 and 20 Tour. Live from Breakers of Pacifica. Presented by s and Moving Systems and by Oaklandish on 95.7 The Game. Yeah, yeah. Stop 19 in the 20 and 20 Tour. We're here at Breakers in Pacifica. Look at those waves, man. It is freaking awesome to just All right, very happy to welcome from uh, Breakers. Robbie is with us right now. Good morning, Hello, Robbie. gentlemen. How's Robbie, it going? what's happening? I'm feeling good. Life is better at Breakers. How are you guys feeling? It is better because I look out to my right in the beautiful view of the ocean. It doesn't get any better than I, this. I put that there just for you guys. I knew ah, you were coming. appreciate that. Thank you. That's very kind of you. And we've had a number of people hit us up on Twitter and stuff. They're like, oh, you found Breakers. Hidden gym in Hidden, Pacifica. Is that what they're saying? We appreciate that. Thank you, uh, people of Twitter. We appreciate that. How long have you guys been here? Uh, we celebrated our year anniversary in March. Just so, one year? Yeah, just, you're, oh, we're wow. babies here. But, uh, you know, it took off. We want to thank everyone for coming out. And uh, they continue to come out every, every day, every week. Week, every weekend and enjoy good food by this ocean that you guys discovered as well so yeah whether it be one year or 40 years you're never going to get tired of that view out there that's what we say and it, it's always it's always different that's the only thing the, the ocean will never be uh, the same twice well the food is absolutely amazing so tell us how did you guys come up with this menu who's kind of the partners and the moving pieces of this and why is this place so dynamic the the moving pieces is one one giant piece and that's my father here looking good Pops, looking what's good happening? And there he is. So, yeah this is a father and son dream that's team awesome. come true and uh, we got a lot of a lot of moving parts in the back. He's he's got friends friends of family and people who've known him for years. Who, as soon as they heard he was opening up his own restaurant, they they wanted to come by. So that's why the food comes out hot and ready and, and tasty. So we want to thank them in the in the kitchen because without them we wouldn't be here. Obviously, did you, did you and Pops put the menu together? His father son we just did. Say, hey, let's create many this? many of nights, 3 wow. a.m. He, he taught me what a Benedict was, what a crepe was. He hey, he, he gave me the dream and. And now you're, now you're sitting in it, but it and, and eating it, apparently, so now, Robbie, we appreciate that. We, we saw the open face sandwich, you know, the Benedict, we know, and then, of course, uh, the crepes. Uh, Robbie, our producer, said the pancakes Great were awesome. Great name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but what are you guys known for? Like, what do people come here, or if they come here for the first time, what should they try? I would definitely, you guys got a, a taste of the bacon waffle, yeah? Yeah, that was delicious. Good. Bacon waffle, uh, the breakfast burrito is a good one, too. Shout out to Andre. He likes to put black beans in his breakfast burrito, but there that's a go. good one. But the crab cake Benedict, I think, takes oh. takes the uh, takes the cake, the crab cake, if you will. It's it's a good one. So crab cake Benedict or a bacon waffle, you can't go wrong. Bacon waffle. That How sounds, was that low? That sounds unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Everything that they had, that they brought out the the waffle was great. I mean, they had the ham and they had bacon. They had a croissant on the. They had a. Uh, what was that? Not a uh, croissant. English muffin. English muffin. Yeah. And that's the key, too. English, the English muffin. muffin on the open oh. taste sandwich. That was a nice Can't touch. forget the avocado. Either. Oh, yeah, the avocado, a little sour cream. I mean, in California, you got to have that. It, 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 it was absolutely dino. It, it was dino. When you guys went into this and making this, you know, process of making this your restaurant, a home-felt restaurant, how was, you know, hiring the people? Was it mostly just friends or just what makes it so... That, that, that touch of family here. Uh, I'm glad you're picking up on this because, to be honest, this, this almost feels more like home than our own home. I mean, the, the artwork on the walls from, from Brad and even, um, you know, the wooden sculpture with the, yeah. the bridge, that's been above my house. Uh, any, any couch in our living room for years, and, and we brought it here now, and so we want you to feel like you're at our house. But, yeah, friends of family, and, you know, we had to post a couple ads on Craigslist, and we've, we found some, some good people. And, I mean, we've, we've been rocking it for the last year, and it definitely feels more like a family. I actually got my uncle from Wisconsin here visiting. Oh, and what's so happening, Uncle, uncle Lou? Shout out. <laughs> so, yeah, uncle. Wisconsin. See uncle, for, Lou. <laughs> uncle Lou. So, yeah, it, it's family, family-friendly family atmosphere, and, you know, just everything from the paint on the walls to the to the cups to the, the tile, everything. We just want you to feel comfortable. Like, like, you, like you said, you've been here for years. One year or 40 years, it doesn't matter, but you're, you're part of the family. What's the hours here? We're seven to three, seven days a week. We're only closed on Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's the only two days my dad gets off, is Christmas and Thanksgiving. Now, Joe and I were concerned coming in this morning that Lorenzo might eat all of your profits. Uh, is that. that the case? Not yet, but he, he's got some man hands right here. Though. I, I think he can handle it. But. No, Lorenzo, you're, you're more than welcome, both of you guys, all of you, whenever you want. You don't have to, do, you don't have to make up a radio show just to come visit us and, and eat. You guys, are, you guys are more than welcome. So we can just come in and be clowns without the radio show, just be exactly. ourselves? Just be yourselves. That's that's what we want here. Give like us that. give us a give us a funny story about your dad. Tell us something that you know you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Why, 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 hey, why are you trying to start strife in the family, Lowell? You know, I that? almost feel like my dad fed him this because my dad my dad has one tattoo. 
and he loves showing it off. Let's see if I don't know if he'll Let's do see it now. Your tattoo but pops. This is a uh, this is his favorite favorite Disney uh, movie. It's it's Finding Nemo, and if you notice, oh, if you notice, they have blue eyes. Um, that's me and my dad here, father and son uh, team. So he got that on uh, his golden birthday. And uh, if if you know anything about the, the movie Finding Nemo, it's a father and son team, and that's why you see a lot of Nemo uh, paraphernalia and stuff in here um, because that that's kind of what this installs is the father and son team. Uh, you know, just living the dream and riding the waves at Breakers. Wow. That's Love awesome. that. That wasn't Love a funny that. story. That was, that was kind of a tear jerker. That was kind of profound. That's a, good story. That's a great story. That's a real good story. But that's I like here that. because you know you hear about some businesses where you have families involved and it can be challenging. But it sounds like you and your dad really enjoy the experience of getting a chance to share this together. Yeah, definitely. This is my best friend, my my business partner, and roommate. Maybe uh, for a little bit longer. We'll see. Pops, have you ever had to lay them? Has Pops, have had to lay them heavy hands. Pops, you got some big knuckles over there. Those, man. Have, you ever, have, you ever had, have you ever had to put those mitts on him and lay, you know, let him touch that little backside, get him got dialed up a couple times? <laughs> I think there, there was probably a spatula or two, but I, I learned quick. <laughs> That's how I knew we'd always end up in the restaurant business together. I've got the spatula, spatula before. Yeah, exactly. It's very productive. <laughs> He'd do the belt trick, but I think that was just more for show. Oh, yeah, take the belt off. So, like, what were you doing tonight? Yeah. yeah. Now, why, now. Did, why didn't you invite me? <laughs> were, were there any girls there? What's up? <laughs> All right, big thanks to Robbie for coming on. Thank thanks you guys. for having us, We breakers. really appreciate this. Thank you Great so much. Shout out to uh, it's the place to be. Go Giants, go Warriors, go A's, go Niners. Who else? Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> Sharks. Or not. Thank you, guys. And the Sharks. All right, Jason Stark and Sean Farnham will join Habergoff coming up next. A big thanks to our entire crew here on site at Breakers. Thanks, Robbie. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. We got one more stop next week on Wednesday. This is Stop 19 in our 20 and 20 tour. Be a blessing, everyone. Big thanks to Joe and Lorenzo Neal. Have yourself a great Wednesday. Don't you tell me what kind of Wednesday to have.